This video is going to be about the Marvel's number six pocket axe or safety axe. My name is Brian and you're watching Survival On Purpose. Hey folks, welcome back to Survival On Purpose. Thanks for checking in. Uh, as I said, uh, today's video is going to be about the Marbles uh, Safety Axe or Pocket Axe number six. And this was sent to me by one of my subscribers, uh, Charlie. And Charlie has started a store on U um, I'm sorry, on eBay store with his nephew so to teach him some business principles and the value of hard work which I think is a great endeavor. Uh, more people need to do that with their, with their kids. Um, anyway, so they're doing a knife. The, the name of their store is Lucas Knife and Hobby, and it's on eBay. And I'll put a link right below here to it so you can make sure and check them out. But uh, Charlie sent me a message, wanted to know if I'd be willing to review some products for him, just kind of give, give him my opinion. So I said, sure. And he sent me, this is one of the first things he sent me, is this little pocket axe. And We'll go into the specs here in just a minute, but I do want to show you this thing's pretty cool because it's got a uh, built-in guard. So it actually, uh, you know, you don't have to have a sheath for it or anything. You can actually, it's just, it's just some metal stainless steel guard. It just kind of pops up over it and covers the blade up. So it keeps it safe in your uh, pack or pocket or whatever. And, you know, that, that's a pretty neat little feature. And we'll see how this thing does. But, but first of all, um, I want to show you marbles. Is the name of the company and they've been around since apparently 1898. Uh, this was designed by a man named Marbles and he actually was a pretty big inventor. So um, they, they originated, I've got some notes here, in the upper peninsula of, of Michigan. So uh, Jim, that's you probably heard of them um, up here in the upper peninsula but Marbles Safety Axe. And I've got the, the safety thing down. So let's take a look at the specs on this thing. And then we'll do some a little more descriptiveness and do some use tests. But I want to tell you, this thing is it's pretty sharp and it's pretty neat design. So got some pros and cons and we'll talk about that. But let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and give you a kind of adjust the camera where you can do justice to the uh, show you what little detail on this thing. OK, so this is the Marbles Pocket Axe and the uh, just a couple of the specs. The overall length from end to end is 11 and a half inches. The cutting head down here, uh, the cutting edge is two and three quarter inches f from you know, top to bottom, and the width of the head is five eighths of an inch thick. Um, they say the handle is hardwood. Don't really know what kind of wood it is. Um, the head is forged carbon steel. This thing weighs about 14 and a half ounces, and the price on Lucas Knife and Hobby is 28 bucks. So it's pretty decent. Um, I do want to show you a couple things here. If you look at the, uh, it's got a really different shaped head. When I first saw it, I thought this, this is a pretty screwed up looking way to do a handle. But as it turns out, it's on purpose. So they say this gives them better retention and it doesn't loosen up as, as much. And then if you can look at the, uh, where the uh, safety clip goes in, it basically just slides into a groove in the handle. And it clips on up right here. Very, it actually covers the blade up very well. Get this where you can see it and slides back into the groove and it's got kind of a spring in it so when you let it go it snaps back in place. It's got a little saying that says marbles for every hour in the open. I'm not sure I guess that's a company slogan but um, it's really got a pretty good finish on the head. I'm really you know it's kind of shiny um, and very smooth polished pretty well. It's a really um, I like the shape of this head. I like the, the feel of the head. There's a couple things that I'm not real thrilled about. I was a little concerned that the, you can see the groove, the pocket for this, this thing, this is this stainless steel edge guard is pretty deep in the handle. So it, it doesn't leave a whole lot of, a whole lot of meat in this handle. And I was a little concerned that that might cause a problem maybe with the handle breaking or splitting or whatever. And I have to be honest with you, when I opened this thing up and looked at it, see if I can get this where you can see, you can see there's a crack right there, right there. Um, so it's already cracked straight from out of the box. I talked to Charlie and he said that, you know, he would definitely, you know, send another one. And if, if something like that ever happened, he would absolutely make it good. And, you know, he's, he really didn't have any control. He gets, get, gets this from a wholesaler who gets it from a manufacturer. So, um, those things happen in the real world. Um, but this thing is actually the, 
it is one piece that goes in here so it's the uh, the bracket that holds this guard now there's no line or anything in no liner or anything in here so I, I guess conceivably it could scratch the edge but I don't it really doesn't quite contact you almost have to push it down to make it contact it so it's, it's not a big deal um, it doesn't just pop back up on there it's gonna miss sometimes if you, if you try if you try to get on there so you gotta you know you have to actually engage your brain a little bit and do it but it's not a big deal so really neat design I, I was pretty 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 intrigued by it so a little, little concerned about the handle a little concerned about the handle in general especially with a split but Charlie said to give it fits and see what would happen so that's what we're gonna do so let me readjust the camera again and we'll actually see how this thing chops and, and, and functions okay well obviously this is not a um, you know a felling axe or really heavy duty heavy use axe it's going to be for mostly for camp type stuff so what i thought i would do is go ahead and uh get some smaller stuff here and just see see what we can do with it so i've got a little piece of i think this is oak um i'm not sure i think it is we're going to go ahead and just see how well it chops bites in really good it's a really sharp little little blade on this thing Okay, that's pretty good. Now I will show you something I just noticed. This is coming slap out. So um, it looks like there's some screw holes here that might have got missed. There's a screw hole here and here that maybe it should have been screwed in. And there's actually some holes in, in the back of the handle where the screws should have contacted. But I don't see any screws in here that fell out. So maybe, that, maybe that's part of the problem that the screws have actually come out. I'm going to leave this thing out and go ahead and use the handle, but that's really a good opportunity. You can see how much of that, how much of that handle is, is out of there. So you really only got about a half an inch of handle here. So it's not going to be a really heavy duty tool, like I said. Um, let's go ahead and see what happens though. So we've, we beat that up pretty good. It actually, it's, it's sharp. I mean, you can, you can see it chopping in really good. So for um, light use camp seems to be doing okay but let's uh go ahead and see what we can do about sp maybe splitting a piece of wood with it it's a pretty pretty big chunk of wood it's maybe too big maybe ambitious let's see what happens all right well it's kind of rotted so it's probably gonna be okay let's see okay so not sure this is a uh, reasonably good sized piece of wood here we'll try sp to split it and see if we can come up with something let me get a wedge to put underneath and maybe try to hold it upright long enough to uh make some contact with it actually let's just do it this way we'll uh go ahead and try to baton it in place Okay, do it again. You see this is a solid piece of wood here. This is not at all rotten. So it works pretty good. Did, did that pretty good pretty good job there. We'll try a little different technique. Well, maybe not. Okay, so pretty decent on that. Uh, we'll give it a shot on maybe do a little carbon. It's uh, probably not razor sharp. I mean, it's pretty sharp for, for axe, axe type duty, but see if we can maybe get a little feather stick out of here. A split, split wood. It's got a pretty convex blade, 
shape, which is what you want in an axe. And this is certainly not a Wetterlings or Granfords Brooks. It's, it's also not Wetterlings or Granfords Brooks price. It's 28, 29 bucks, like I said. So, but not bad for a twenty-eight dollar axe. Um, I beat the heck out of it with that. Really surprised that it split that as well as it did. Let's try just a piece of solid up wood. I mean, that's that's solid, no doubt about it. Let's see. The old-fashioned one. Okay. In that case, we'll get their old baton back out. Could be very dangerous there, so you want to butt yourself. Let's try again. Let's try it right down the middle. This is probably the limits of what this thing... Oh, yes. This is hard right here. Very hard. There you go. Okay. One more time. Okay, this is really not, I'm not doing a real good job on safety here. Let's, let me get out of the way. Try it like this. Okay, so if you need some firewood, killing. Seems to do a good job of it. Okay, so there you have it. I'm not really going to chop down a tree with this thing. And again, kind of disappointed that the uh, blade cover just came out. It goes right back in like so. And I think, obviously, this one, this one got out of the factory, got past the, the quality control department because not only was the, is the handle broken, cracked, but it's missing the screws that hold this, this, this um, assembly in place. So, But it did uh, take a licking and keep on ticking. I was a little surprised. So, Okay, well, um, that's the marbles number six safety hatchet and in spite of, of the quality problems with this and i brought that up to charlie by the way um before i made the video i said look you know this thing's got a crack in the handle and he said well just go ahead and and, and beat it up see what happens um if, if it if it holds up with a cracked handle then we know it's pretty strong so and he says he's going to get me a new one on the way so we can show that we can um we'll do a file we'll do a follow-up review when i get the new one uh, as soon as he gets it in he's got to had to reorder it because um, these things are pretty popular, but 28 bucks. I'm really, honestly, pretty, pretty impressed with it. I, I really like the little safety feature right here. I just think that's a neat idea. I like little stuff like that. Whoever thought of that's a pretty smart guy. Um, a built-in, a built-in safety cover. And if the handle, the retainer issues, you know where this thing, the, the bracket goes in there. If they, if they get that solved, or if that is solved on the next one he sends me, then I'll give this one a. Um, a pretty good pretty good rating because i think it's very small lightweight like i said it only weighs what like a 14 and a half ounces so it's less than a pound it's not going to do heavy duty stuff like i said but it performed pretty well in my little backyard chopping block test it, it, it cut uh split some really hard wood i uh, did a great job so uh we'll be looking for the follow-up i think we'll, obviously we'll reserve we'll res i'll reserve my grade score on this one till, till i take a look at a, a a you know the replacement but all in all it's pretty cool and charlie's going to stand behind he's a straight up guy he's also got some a lot of other stuff on his store uh it's got some vintage stuff some some actually some some maybe some pre-owned stuff and some new stuff so and check him out once again it is lucas knife and hobby at ebay and once again i'll put a link link down below so hope you found this interesting i did well as always thanks for watching uh, thanks for subscribing and uh clicking the thumbs up if you like the video tell your friends about it if you think they'll like it and um 
if you've ever seen one of these things before, leave a, this is the first time I'd ever seen one. Uh, leave, leave a comment below, let me know what you think, what you think about the design, if you've, if you've heard of it before, if you like it, don't like it, uh, any great ideas you got, um, just share your knowledge. We really appreciate it. I appreciate all your support. Um, once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. See you next time.